In this question, we're asked to find the value of x such that the line between negative 3 comma 2 and x comma 6 has slope 2 over 5. We can assign negative 3 comma 2 to be our first point and x comma 6 to be our second point. This is entirely arbitrary. You could have chosen x comma 6 to be your first point negative 3 comma 2 to be the second point, and the answer would still be the same. So we start by setting up the equation, or the formula for finding slope, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We can replace the letters with their appropriate numbers, or numerical values. The slope is 2 fifths, so that's the replacement we make. Let's say we're asked to find Let's say we're asked to find the value of x between the points -3, 2 and x, 6 so that the slope of the line between those two points is 2 over 5. We can start by assigning -3, 2 to be the first point x1, y1 and x comma 6 to be the second point, x2 comma y2. Next, we recognize that we're given a slope, so we should probably use that piece of information as well. The slope equation, or slope formula, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And if we replace the letters with the appropriate numbers, we get m, which is 2 over 5 by itself, y2, which is 6, y1, which is 2, x2, well, we don't know what it is, so we're going to replace it with x. That's the x-coordinate right here, minus a negative 3. Now, this can be simplified a little bit before we move ahead. 6 minus 4 gives us the 4, I'm sorry, 6 minus 2 gives us the 4 on the top, x minus a negative 3. If we multiply the negatives, we get a positive 3 in the middle. So x plus 3 goes in the denominator. Now at this stage, we can cross multiply. We can multiply the x plus 3 over to the left hand side. So then it would be 2 times x plus 3. And we can multiply the 5 over to the right hand side. That will give us 4 times 5. Now we can clean this up before we move ahead. We can distribute the 2 into x plus 3 to get 2 times x, which is 2x and then 2 times 3, which is 6. So for the left-hand side, we get 2x plus 6, and for the right-hand side, 4 times 5 gives us 20. At this stage, in order to isolate the x, we can move the 6 over to the right-hand side. Since it's being added on the left, when we move it over, we would need to subtract it. 20 minus 6 is 14. At this stage, to isolate the x, we can divide both sides by 2, oops, and 14 over 2 gives us 7. So if the x value is 7, then the slope between the two points negative 3 comma 2 and 7 comma 6, or x comma 6, will be 2 fifths.